everybody, and welcome to a very juicy Wild Ride with Steve-O. This week, we've got a legend of the music industry who's not just a super cool, incredibly nice guy, but he serves it up, man. The goods on fake jewelry and hip-hop. Like going broke after spending 40 million bucks. I mean, dude, this episode is killer. Let's get into it. You like lobster? I do like lobster. Uh, they might be bringing us we'll out survive. some lobster. Thank you, sir. No way. Yeah. Did we, we asked them if they have shrimp cocktail. They said, no, we only have lobster cocktail. We only have lobster yeah, cocktail. I've never had that before. We said times four, please. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, y'all fucked it up. This are, is good. Are we ready? So ready. Okay. Ready. It's yes, too sir. high. Okay. All right. Okay. And all cameras are recording. Yes, sir. All right. Perfect. Here we go. This is how we do it. Boop. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> T-Pain. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, baby. Let me introduce you to my co-host, Scott Randolph. How you How's doing? Going, Scott? Good to see you. Good to see you guys. <laughs> and up at the front of the van, the gorgeous Paul Brisky. What's up, so Mr. Gorgeous. Payne? How are you? So gorgeous. Yeah. You're a beautiful man. Oh, thank you very much. That's, Absolutely. Appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. That's what we normally say, and you said it for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it, man. Yeah, so, dude, thank you for doing this. What what thank you, you for having me, guy. Like this is yeah, this is legendary for me. Well, thank you, man. Like this is, this is like, dude. Like I grew up watching you. Like this is fucking insane to me. Like I, so, I think it is safe to say that both of us, <laughs> in, in our own way, have had very uh, influential, culturally significant careers. That was a holy shit. That was well put. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, think, I think that I think that uh, in our own way, we have each. Uh, very much changed the game for in, sure. In absolutely, play. in our respective uh, industries. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That that makes a lot of sense. It, I, I, man, I, I gotta tell you, I, I respect you for, you know, showing the world uh, change, and and just you know, not only putting your body through the most immense everything, but also changing it for the better. And and well, I, I can't, hey, I can't, I can't thank you enough for just showing the world that all this is possible i mean i appreciate that a lot you know and um people sometimes will say man you must be so proud of yourself for being able to turn it around right right and my answer to that is uh i'm grateful grateful I think, is, I think, grateful I, is a dope word i think i think, <laughs> I think, I think gra gratitude sure. is better than pride on a lot of levels but let's not make this about me i get it i, I get gotta it. ask I you it. first first question i gotta ask you how much money are you wearing on, um, on, on not your, a lot not a lot. L.A. is like my cheap jewelry place. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Really? LA, yeah, L.A. is like the, the most robbable place. So I try to wear, <laughs> I try like to wear the jewelry. cheapest. I yeah. try to wear the cheapest shit I can, I, can, I can pull out of my repertoire. I mean, besides the watch. The watch is, uh, the watch is a bitch. Is, there, is, it, now, is, is, uh, is the bezel on that watch aftermarket, or is that legit? No, no, this is, no this, is, this, is, this is right from it. Yeah, so, that, I mean that's that. I I had a Rolex at one time, like right right when I was just new to being able to afford stuff. Right, absolutely. I, I was like, oh god, I'm getting a Rolex, <laughs> and uh, and then I put an aftermarket bezel on it. And, yeah, and, see and, that that <laughs> helps. It helps the aesthetic of it. But I think the uh, you know I, I I like to put a lot of money on my watches because um, as robbable as I am, uh, the watch is the hardest to get off. Right, okay. Very quickly. So you can snatch a chain. You can do all that shit. I get that. Um, but if you want to rob me, uh, don't rob me out in public because all that shit's going to be fake. Uh, if I'm in Target <laughs> and I got jewelry on, that's when you want to That's when you want to really go for it. Okay. <laughs> like so if I'm in Target or Walmart, that's when you really want to. That's, that's going to be the realest shit I got on. <laughs> so what, why is that? Uh, it just, because less probability. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now, I think I think a lot of people, particularly in the music industry, yeah. especially, especially hip hop and R and B, would not ever admit to wearing fake jewelry ever. Oh, we all right? have it. We all have it. Right. Everybody has it. And Everybody think, has fake jewelry. It, and and it, and it's the facade of it. Sometimes fake jewelry looks better. Wow. Than the real shit. It's just it's oh. When you get something that's manufactured to glisten in the fucking lights of a concert, oh my god, it's so much better than the real shit because it's just like it's real. This is this is how it's gonna be. You can't get anything else. But if it's if it's manufactured and it's like, look, I can make this shit go crazy in purple light. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's just 
This is a whole different kind of thing. It's built yeah. built purely for It's for built show. purely for what we're trying to uh, to create the facade for Makes yeah sense. and I think too like you know having kind of done a little bit of research I like to to learn about my guests absolutely you know, everything that I saw from you really just uh you know just down to earth humil- humility yeah. you know like absolutely absolutely and, and I think that's you know it's commendable and Thank and, you. and a real indication of that is admitting with the fake jewelry for like sure that. so so the reason you know everybody asks me why are you so transparent why are you so vulnerable and shit like that and I'm just like uh if I would have had the uh the information beforehand I would have done better in my career. I would have been bigger. I would never would, would have gone broke. I would have never done anything. But n- everybody before me that I had to look up to, they were just like, no, this is great. Once you start rapping, it's going to be it's gonna just money all the time. <laughs> just, <laughs> nothing's right. ever going to happen bad. Nothing bad's ever going to happen. Your family's not going to come after you. Nothing's going to happen. It's just, just rap, and it's just... Girls and swim pools after this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so about that, and, and 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 power to you for just offering it up. You know, a lot absolutely. Of, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people wouldn't admit to going broke after a, after I uh, after I went through that whole episode. If I, I found out, if I would have known that other artists have gone through this, people I look up to, if they if they would have just said that, look, it's not all great. It's not gonna be fine this whole time. If I would have known that, I would have been mentally prepared. First of all, uh, I would have been I would have been ready. I would have I would have prepared myself financially. I would have put something aside. I would have. But you know, from the people that came before me, even rock stars, rappers, uh, singers, everybody, Athlete, athletes. everybody, <laughs> athletes, <laughs> just like no, this whole thing is just money all the time. Right. You're good at something, it's just gonna be money. Always. Nobody's right. ever been like, so this goes away after a while. <laughs> 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 and, 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 nobody has, and nobody's ever offered that. And I feel like I have a responsibility and a service to the people that are coming after me to like, guys, remember how great I was? That shit goes away after Man. a while. And, and here's the things that happen to show you the patterns that it might be coming. It might be coming. Here's here's how you know you're running out of money. Here's hmm. how when you when you call your fucking uh, uh, when you call your your, your finance team yeah. when you call your finance team and they're, and they're like you may not want to grab this this fourth house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Okay. When you start hearing shit like that, maybe right. maybe stop buying jewelry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let, let, let's let's not look at an at a Bugatti. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let's not look at a Bugatti. I bought my Bugatti. And uh, it was fine. I was I was fine. And, and you, bought, uh, you bought it for two point one million dollars. Two point one million dollars. And then you very shortly thereafter you found out that you were actually broke, and you sold it for all they gave you was eight hundred thousand. Yeah. So it was like renting a car for <laughs> one point three million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> renting a fucking car, and then I was like, hey, since I got this Bugatti, you know, I need another house. I can probably take this. I can probably take this one. That, that, that these uh, people just moved out of a house that's literally connected to my house. So you know, we can just walk a path. And it was like, you, you, uh, you, you don't have any more money. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. What? Say it again. Right. No. <laughs> no. It was like, yeah, you don't. You, you, you don't. You don't. You don't have any more money. And I was like, how? How did you let that happen? And they were like, well. Right. How did you let that right. happen? Right. <laughs> <Now, laughs> so, all too often, it's actually a case where the the management, the you yeah, know, the business manager, all the you know the people are actually stealing. But that wasn't the case with that you. That wasn't the case with this me. Was that just... wasn't the case. I mean, it was a combination of it actually, though. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was, you know, they were having fun with funds, but still not saying when it was running out. Right. Because they knew if I would have known that I was running out. I would have stopped making mm, it. The party's over. Right. For oh, everybody. Shit. For everybody. Yeah, wow. So oh. don't don't let him know that he well, doesn't yeah, have but, any money because if he stops trying to make money, we're not gonna but, get They're like calling you like, when are you gonna make another album? Right. And you're like, uh, I don't know why I nothing. just did. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, to be fair, I did see in an interview you said 
that it was your choice not to even uh, have access to your bank accounts to ever know what was in there. Yeah, I didn't want to know. Personally, I think it is a good idea for one to know what is in their bank account. I also think it is a good idea for one to know what is in their underwear. I mean, if the bush is out of control down there, that is a bad look for the ladies. And even worse, if you got hair in your nostrils, man, that's why Manscaped saves the day with the Weed Whacker, which clears out all of your disgusting nose hairs. And their newest addition, the Lawnmower 4.0, just rips through pubic bush. Man, this thing's killer. And I want you to get one, and I want you to get a killer deal on it by going to manscaped.com slash stevo, which gives you 20% off your order plus free shipping. Again, that's 20% off your order plus free shipping. And here's another little incentive. If you get one, then maybe you want to bring it down to Carlsbad, California on June 17th because I'm going to have a big bush harvesting party. That's right. I've been collecting my bushes for over two years and it barely fills a sandwich bag. So I'm like, screw that, man. I want to fill up a huge trash bag. So I'm inviting everybody out. Follow me on all my social media platforms for more information. But the Bush Shaving Fest is going down on June 17th this month. Yep, that's right. It's a Thursday, 5 p.m. at the beach. But make sure you get your manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 and the Weed Whacker and all that. And now let's hear about this bank account business. Because because <laughs> I didn't want to know because I was led to believe that this is just going to, it's only going to grow. Like right. Why would I, why does, like, right. what am I going <laughs> to uh, you know, check I, in on how much more money I have? Because these rappers told me that I'm just going to make money forever. So right. nobody, nobody runs out of money, apparently. So fuck do I need to check in for? It's just going to keep going up and up. Okay. Like, <laughs> Fucking crazy. So, so the peak for you would have mm-hmm. would have been 2007 when you were on three like bona fide number one hits. Absolutely. One for of sure. which is a diamond plat- platinum. Yes. 10 million sales. Absolutely. That's the Florida Low song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so in 2007 you're on top of the world. A top and, of the world. And, and it's never going to stop. Yeah, like why the fuck would I check it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not checking rude it. to check. It's yeah. Rude. It's, 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 <laughs> he's not waking <laughs> up looking at his B of A with his coffee in the morning like <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he. Just fucking, just fucking the Minority Report screen in front of me. I'm just like, yeah, that's another million. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, so, I, then, so this, so, but but then after 2007, mm-hmm. I mean, from 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 what you're saying, it just kind of cooled off, right? Like, right. Uh, so so what? So what? I, what? My whole business model at that time was, um, you know. It's all gonna be downhill. Everybody's like, it's downhill from here, uh, but downhill in an easy way. So it, they, they, the analogy was, if you pedal up the hill, you can coast afterwards. Right. Okay. You can stop working. That's so funny yeah. because, because <laughs> in, uh, in in our world of recovery, like we're sober yeah. guys, you know, they they talk about the work that you do in recovery. And yeah. They, and they say you can only coast in one direction, and that's downhill. That's <laughs> Which funny. Is, uh, Absolutely the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, meaning you don't want to coach. Yeah. Just, yeah so you don't want to coach. So you, you have to keep working. Um, yeah. What they what they don't tell you is that you coast. Totally fine. You coast. Um, there's another hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you got you to gotta right. keep going. And, but, I, you know, even I was telling my wife, like, I didn't, I, it, it got so bad, I didn't live with my wife like for like three years and I was because I was like if you live with me I'm not going to be able to pay attention to my career oh. and I was like you got to live in a different house everything and it was so crazy it how was how much just, of that was a smoke screen for like all just, of it <laughs> all of it right all of it was just like I can't be held you know what I'm saying it was right. I, you know you know what I mean it was just like I, it, it, there's no there's no way for me to maintain this lifestyle. There's no way for me to, you know, I always tell people the hardest thing about being number one is staying number one. Sure. So I was so upheld with that. 
I was just like, nothing else can come into my life right now. Right. And I was already married for fucking four years. And I was just like, you got to stay in a different city. And I can't... Uh, so it started out a different house, and then it had to be a different right. city. The whole thing. So I was just like, okay, nobody can talk to me. Don't Nobody talk to me. I need to stay number one. Nothing can... Nothing needs to fuck with me right now. And then... Turns out it was me that was fucking with me. Right. <laughs> you yeah, so, so, so 2007, and 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 you're not, forget about just three number one. You were 21. Right. right. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> and, and you were not. Just, it wasn't just three number one hits. You were on fucking everything. Fire. I mean, you yeah. were you were on every and and Absolutely. Th this is like the auto tune thing. Yeah. Where like you yeah. were like the share did it first and then you made it real really count. Yeah. It was a right? real. It was a real. So. Yeah. It was a real then, thing by then. And then, auto tune kind of became the norm. Yeah. And, and people yeah. started criticizing you for bringing that to the table. Mm -hmm. And then as a result of like Jay-Z coming out and, and, right. and attacking you, does Absolutely. that have something to do with why things cooled off for you? I don't, I, I you know what? Um, it came to, it, it was the craziest coincidence of time. Like right before Jay-Z came out with Death of Autotune, uh, my managers were like, dude, you're on a fucking thousand songs <laughs> we gotta stop right now we gotta stop nobody's getting features nobody's doing anything we just need to get you out of the media for at least like some months and then right after that jay-z was like boom death of auto tune and we didn't plan this but i mean we planned our uh break so my managers were like, dude, you need to disappear for a minute. It's like so, you're overexposed. And right after that, you're overexposed. And then right after that, Jay-Z dropped Death of Autotune. And it looks like... A diss track. It looks like a diss track. Jay-Z dropped the joint and then I disappeared. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like, fuck. And what year was that? <laughs> this was like eight. Nine? Yeah, 2009, or nine. I yeah, think. Yeah, this was like eight and nine. And then, so, bro, like, my managers was like, dude, you got to just calm down. You're on too much shit. You're overexposed. You got to stop. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. A month later, Jay-Z drops Death of Auto 2, and it looks like he made me disappear. Right. So, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you went after him. I went after him a little bit. It was like I was... I was, I, it, this is one of the recovery stories. I was just so drunk at a show in Vegas, and I was doing um, I was doing a, a daytime pool party, and uh, you know this was right after Depth of Auto Tune, and people were in the crowd like Jay Z killed you, like it was just like, Jay Z shut you down, and I'm like, no, you don't understand. I, you know, you don't have time to explain. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's just like. Fuck you! <laughs> so, so, so it was just a whole bunch of shit, and 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 that came out as T Pain is attacking Jay Z, and I'm like, no, I just, I was doing a show, and everybody was like, Dynasty right. bitch, fuck you, and I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> motherfucker, and it was just like it was so much shit, man. It just came out as that whole thing, and, 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 so, and so then did that inspire a. a jay-z to come again or? no 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 i mean I, the, the the crazy thing is what i found out after that was jay-z was never talking about me in the first place <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> well, yeah. he was he, he was talking about rappers doing the shit like right. rapper he was talking about rappers copying me and he was like kind of low-key like defending me all right and then i took it the wrong way and it was just like oh, so, oh well, that's man. fucking embarrassing <laughs> and so, so, so how long after that do you buy the bugatti and then sell it for 800 grand and then oh buy... that was before that oh shit that was before that was fucking before that so i was getting punched while i was down already so you're telling me you <laughs> you made 40 million dollars blew through 40 million dollars and went broke like all in the same. It took me, it, I will say, so this is from 2005. In 2006 is when I made the $40 million. So it took me pretty much nine years to go through this whole cycle. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So right. it, it was, it was, it was a bitch, but it was, <clears throat> it, 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 
nine years sounds like a long time, but it, that's fast. Right. That's really fucking fast. I, 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 I get it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I get it. Yeah. So, so, so what year would it have been? And, and by the way, this question is because I'm starting to question, ah, did he really go broke? You said that you had to borrow money to buy your kid's Burger King mm-hmm. at some time. What year would have that been? That was 10, 11. Uh, okay, 2010, 2011. Yeah. All right. And so that was the toughest of times. Now you're talking about... Like, oh, it uh, took me two years to get all that back. Okay. Oh, all that back. All of it. It, it took me two years to just so like... you got all because, that Because back. It, it took me going broke all the way to be like, oh, that's where I fucked up. Right. And it's just like, okay, maybe... Don't fucking buy houses in 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 Homestead, fucking Florida. Oh my god, <laughs> that was that was. Funny. It was like, oh, that's where all my fucking money went. Okay, got it. Right now right. we can. Uh, okay. I can fix that. Got it. Not gonna do that anymore. Uh-huh. We can probably just we can skip all that. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Do over. <laughs> so you did it again. Yeah. And yeah. what did you did you think at a point where you're like fuck I'm done I'm never gonna be able to be successful again or did you already oh, you always yeah. know? Oh yeah. Oh millions of times. Really? Yeah, but it was my wife. My wife, my wife. was like, dude, you're good. Just yeah. Just do it again. You're good. Just do it again, <laughs> man. Fucking hey, you're telling me that I've shown the world that positive change is possible. <laughs> Damn, right? I'm telling hey, get 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 you get you one of those. Get you the wife. My uh, wife, dude. my wife was like, You sound stupid. Right. <laughs> you just come on, you know you're talented. Stop doing the self pity shit. Get your ass up. Do the shit again. We got kids. <laughs> Obviously. Don't do man, the thing again. Dude, that's excellent, man. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that, man. That's ex- so, so we're just, we're back on top, man. Absolutely. We, we have, Absolutely. We have, we have different jewelry for different days of the week, <laughs> and depending on where we are. Ge- right. We got geographically motivated. We got geographically motivated sets jewelry. Of jewelry <laughs> for the Step up to me in Target, son. We're <laughs> life. <laughs> Beach mm-hmm. has in Target. Yeah, what's, right. a, what's a ticket? Is a ticket? A ticket is a million bucks, yeah? A ticket is a million, yes. Is there yes. any other words like a two million uh, around your neck? I mean, we got, 500, stack, we got a stack, a, a buck. Um, what's we, that? A, a, a stack is a thousand. A buck is a hundred. Okay. But it could be a, a a buck could be a hundred. What's a band? Thousand. I feel like a, a stack. Band, a, band, a band is a thousand. thousand. What's ten thousand? Ten thousand. Ten stacks. Uh, ten stacks. That's can you? Yeah. Can you combine them like a buck stack would be like a hundred thousand? <laughs> yeah, like, well, now <laughs> it's like Roman numerals. You know, yeah. you, well, you now, put them together. I feel like, yeah, I think that's. I think that's allowed. That a, that can be allowed. You could buck stack. A buck. A buck, buck stack. stack. A buck, buck stack. stack. Stack buck. So you got t- <laughs> Okay, then then let me ask you this. What what's the different number of sales with gold, platinum, diamond? Like wow, what does that easy. break down? Gold, gold is five hundred thousand, yep. platinum's a million, diamond is ten million. Absolutely. What's the what's the most anybody's ever sold? Like triple uh Michael Jackson, A C D C What is uh, that? They're uh, probably like thirty million. I oh, know fifty mm-hmm. did fifty. Oh shit. So okay. Fifty did fifty. Fifty did fifty. Fifty did fifty. 50. 50. That's gotta be called something. 50. So 50. Just, <laughs> <laughs> 50 did 50 so, is what it's called. That was, that was Kate Richard I trying? Yeah. Did yeah, yeah, he went crazy. Um, Cash Money Records, like if you combine all their shit, they're like 50, 60, something. Right, like and the thing is about Cash Money Millionaires, they fucking own their own publishing, yeah. so you got to multiply it by 50. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> fucking assholes. I know. Jesus. Because oh, it, it's like a Catch-22. You, you couldn't ever blow up unless you had a record deal. For sure. But you couldn't make all the money unless you own your own <laughs> publishing. <laughs> So, right. like, you know. Yeah, they did both. And they did both. They and did very, both. Very, very few people did. Abs- oh, very few. Yeah, Master P. Oh, my God. Yeah, Master P did it. Rich. Just out of... Just- yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, and, <laughs> and, just and then, uh, rich. And then there's motherfuckers went back and bought their music, right? Yeah. Like, what, what was yeah. that? Yeah, like, you, can go back, you can go back and buy your masters. Like, uh, Paul McCartney bought Michael Jackson shit. How the opposite. Oh, you... the opposite. Michael Jackson Bob put because when they got together oh, to yeah, film, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they got together to film a song or to record a song together, and Paul McCartney says, Man, it's all about owning your own music. MJ MJ stays good advice. They did say say say. They did say say say. They, they did, did uh, my girl. Um, that the girl, girl is mine. mine. The girl yeah. is mine, yeah. The girl oh is mine. Oh my god. Oh, we're actually uh on the what's today? So in a few days, 
We're actually redoing the Say 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 video. Mm. Wow. Yeah, for one of my singles. It's going to be killer. Okay. I, 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 now, the, the whole story about how you just, uh, you know, you did, you did your own unsanctioned, on your own time, like, uh, you know, you're a struggling artist yep. with a dream. You, you re record Akon's song. Yeah. A, a, it gets to Akon, and he calls you up. You hang up on him because you don't believe it's him. <laughs> And, and then Akon hires you right. as a writer, not yeah. an artist. Absolutely. Was that yeah. insulting on any level? Or no, not like, at all. I was I, trying I, to get a job at McDonald's. I, like, I'll take it. Right, absolutely. <laughs> I was trying to get a job at McDonald's, bro. I was like, dude, anything that's going to make me more right. than McDonald's, Right. whatever you want. And I'll so, do anything you want. So, you so, said, so, if you hire me for what I'm good at. Right. Sure. So, so Akon hires you as a writer, mm -hmm. and you and you say, okay, this is great, Akon. I'm writing for you. And Absolutely. I, and I wrote you this great song. It's called I'm Sprung. Right. And Akon calls you a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Calling a man a pussy is not cool. But do you know what is super uncool? Dying unexpectedly and leaving your loved ones who depend on you totally screwed because you didn't have life insurance. And if you're sitting there thinking, man, I really probably should have life insurance, you're exactly right. And you know how you could save 50% or more on life insurance? You go to policygenius.com. Why? Because they make it super easy to compare quotes from over 12 different major insurers, making it definite that you're going to get a great deal. And we're talking about like 1300 bucks saved. That'll help you out this summer, won't it? Help you have a real good time and sleep very well at night because you know your loved ones who depend on you are taken care of. Yeah, so one more time, you go to policygenius.com where they make everything so simple and so easy and compare all those different quotes to make sure you get the best one and save 50% or more. Policygenius.com. Yeah. Now, what's this about calling T-Pain a pussy? Calling a pussy <laughs> said we don't write songs for, for women. bitches. Yeah. That, 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 that was like, damn, dude, what the and, fuck? And so, <laughs> and, and so, so Akon didn't recognize you as an artist initially. Right. Then, then he hires you as a writer. You write a song for him. He says that's a pussy song for chicks. Yep. And you say, okay, cool. You go ahead and record it yourself. Yep. It becomes a hit. And now you're getting like offers from every major label at the, what was right. it uh, it was Atlantic offered you 900 grand uh that was um Interscope Interscope, Interscope offered me yeah, 900 Atl grand Atlantic offered you 700 grand yeah yep yep and, and yep. then and then Akon turns around and he says I'm going to offer you 20 grand 20 grand but I'm going to give you a career absolutely and you go with Akon absolutely and he was the only one offering long term benefits but couldn't he have given you 100 grand in a career <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yes but you know my dad also needed money at the time and you know it was just he was the only person that was assuring me that it would go further than this one song and you believed him absolutely this cool. is like this reminds me of the fucking movie about facebook the social network mark Zuckerberg. yeah and they're like they're like say buy buy the or maybe it's not that but something like buy the or silicon valley absolutely sell it, yeah. Sell it, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 no, no for sure silicon valley sell it for for this much money no yeah. no i'm gonna hold on to it because it's got value yeah, yeah. no know? it was it was it was real i not only it wasn't just that i believed him because he said it he was the only one that said it Okay. He's the only person that said it. Everybody else was like, we'll give you a million dollars. We'll give you $900,000. we will give you 700000 And that's just for the and one song. that was song. just for the one song. Everybody was it, everybody was offering me that shit. But Akon was like, look, this song is so good, I know you're going to make more songs. Yeah. yeah. So not only am I going to give you twenty grand right now, I guarantee you, you're going to make millions more. Yeah. And he, it, was, it was just, yeah. Uh, Right. And like, so, what the fuck not? So, so your your first album, mm -hmm. that was the one called uh, Rapper Turned Singer. R Rapper Turned Singer. Yep. That's a fucking reckless title for an album. It was ready to go because I, I mean, was because <laughs> you know in, in my in my city Tallahassee, Florida, everybody was rapping, and well, once well, I started right, and right. once I started singing, everybody was like. 
in That's my weird. in my view in my view I, I i heard i was like wait a second his album was called rapper turned singer god that's ballsy that's fucking reckless <laughs> like because because it, because it seems to me like okay people who are really in like hardcore into rap yeah you, you're alienating them because you're saying i'm not a rapper i'm a singer I'm, I, I, and the people yeah. who are into singing sing out oh, this fucking guy's a rapper trying to sing <laughs> so, so, so you, you alienate yeah, everybody anything that you anything that you that you're getting into is always going to be scrutinized by the people that are already in it so you know i was ready for both sides of it but right. it was it was um the fact that you know in my hometown there were so many rappers everybody was rapping right and there were very few singers and it was just like i think i'm gonna go to the other side man and and you know right. and i was already in a group and i would always sing the hook sure. of every song that we would do and, and stuff like that so it was um it was an easy choice, and the fact that singing would set me apart from everything that everybody was doing in the city it was just like you were producing, you were singing, you were rapping, yeah, it, like you were you were writing, you're doing yeah. it all. I was the I was the I was the head of the group. I mean, right. I was the head of the group. In my eyes, but I was the youngest. And your dad was the manager. My dad was the manager, but I was the youngest, and everybody fucking hated all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, right. why the fuck does your dad have to be the guy? And okay, I'm like, so I don't think any of you guys, you, you, you want your dad to step up? <laughs> so, so that group, and, and I wonder, is it really widely known that your name... T Pain comes from Tallahassee Pain. Everybody knows that. It's not super widely known. The the thing is, my name was uh, Mr. Torturer. Wow. Terrible name. What? what, what <laughs> uh, how'd you get that name? <laughs> Torturer. I don't know. I know. I, I know. I had a. Um, I had a Kawhi. Uh, key station. It was just like a, this keyboard that I used to make my beats on, and I, I named it uh, Mrs. Torturer. So. I guess, all in all, just from the events, my name had to be Mister Torture. <laughs> but um, yeah, not a, a dude I used to rap with. Uh, he he was like, I'm 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 not calling you that. <laughs> and he uh, he was like T, it's got to be T T Pain, I guess. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that sounds that sounds good. He was like, but is the T for Torturer? <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, maybe not, I guess. Um, it's like, Tallahassee. Ta yes. Boom. Tallahassee pain. There you go. We did it, piece of shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, now, um, the name the name of that group that you were in was called Nappy Heads. Yeah, Nappy Heads. And yep. then you leave the group. You become a huge solo artist on your own. Yep. You start your own label. Your label is called Nappy Boy. Nappy boy. Yeah, nappy boy. Was that a diss to the group? No, no, it was actually an an, an, uh, an homage. homage. Yeah, it was okay. an homage to the group. Uh, you know, we always used to call ourselves the nappy boys. Um, you know, because we would get confused with. <laughs> uh, the, it, it was another group that we used to get confused with, and we would always have to say like, "No, we're the nappy boys. Like we're, like no, we're the other ones." Like okay. it's, uh, <laughs> and that was another group that was in Tallahassee. It was a, no, it was another group with Nappy in their name. Okay, got it. So and um, it was pretty close. So <laughs> so we would always have to say, no, we're the Nappy Boys. We're we're the we're the ones. Right. And uh, you know, <laughs> uh, always in our in our songs, we would always say, you know, I'm a Nappy Boy. I'm a Nappy Boy. Nappy Boy. Nappy right. Boy. So uh, I just felt like it was an homage to where I came from, to be like, yeah, Nappy Boys, Nappy That's Boy great. Entertainment. When, when did you start that label? Um, I mean, officially it started the second I left the group. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, right now, I mean, it started probably, you know, uh, you know, really officially, like all the way, paperwork, everything done two years ago. Two years ago, wow. And yeah. that's why we got all these different sets of jewelry. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> do, do you still have contact with the group, uh, the guys in the group? Some of them, some of them, some of them. I mean, we had we had some ups and downs and things that we, you know, went through. And, you know, uh, some of them did some crazy shit to me and, you know, some unforgivable shit. But still, it's, you know, I, I'm a forgivable person. You don't seem like a guy who holds a grudge. No, 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 no. So I, I, I let it go. I, I, I let shit go really quickly. Yeah. You know, uh, hmm. I, 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 you know, and even if I don't, um, if you're a good person. I just know not to do business with you anymore. 
It's not, you know, it's not a, you know, if, if you fuck with me on a friendship level, then cool, we're still friends. I just, I'm just not going to trust my money around you. Okay. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I so, get so, it. So that's uh, lessons learned. Yeah, we can go to the park. We can fucking, we can fuck around. We can go to the club. I'll just, shit, I'll, just, I'll pay for you a drink. What do what you yeah. want? But I know <laughs> not to fucking sign contracts with you anymore. Like, it's, right. it's, I can, I can separate things. Compartmentalize. Absolutely. Right. Compartmentalize so, to the, to the, the highest level. Yeah. <laughs> does, does like, uh, winning a Grammy do the same thing for like a comedian getting on the Netflix? It's like, once you're on Netflix, you're fucking just super skyrocketed in the stardom. Like, no. No? Grammy doesn't change your life? No. Really? No. <laughs> it's just like a, um, it's a validation, for sure. You can definitely take your prices up for other shit, but once you get on Netflix, like they pay you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, you don't you get, get paid for a Grammy, yeah. Yeah, you don't get paid for a Grammy. But it's it's interesting because things it, a little for bit. an actor to win an Oscar, they're fucking. You know, yeah, this is not like it's everybody wants shit. that guy in his movie. Right. It's it's affirming, for yeah. sure. Wow. Right. It's an affirmation, no question. And you can you know you can run around town saying, "I oh. want a fucking Grammy." I'm obviously going to charge you more now, right. but to say it's life changing now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now, now I got to ask you this. Wait, At sorry. One... I'm getting the signal that the lobster is sitting outside. Oh, here. shit. Bring in, the, bring in the lobster. Bring in the lobster. Bring in the lobster. Do we know the what the lobster. place is called? Can we give him a yeah. snack time in the middle of the show? I don't mind if we eat right. lobster no, that's a part of it. during You the want podcast. some lobster, T Pain? That seems right. That seems, <laughs> seems like we were supposed to be doing that from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you this. Mm -hmm. At one point, I was working on music. I was trying to make a, a comedy gangster rap album. Shit. And, uh, <laughs> so, so I take it, you, you never knew about that. That was a crazy amount of words you just said right there. That, <laughs> that was a fucking combo. Yeah. Jesus. A comedy really? rap album. A comedy rap album. Yeah, I had a track called Snitchin' is Bitchin'. <laughs> okay, hey, it's a funny concept. Wait, I made a. a wait! <laughs> okay, I may have known about this. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I did a track with Cool G Rap. Called, oh shit, you know what? I did know about this! Yeah. Holy shit! We, we, we made a track called Poke the Puss. You were about to make a fucking album. I got a record deal with Universal Music Group. I think, uh, I, Sylvia, I think I know about was this. It Sylvia Roan. He I has think, a redemption album coming out soon. Right, well, so now that, here's the thing. All these years later, mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to make a redemption track. <laughs> I feel like maybe you even just, a redemption album. I feel like you need to do that. We were just talking to the DOC. Oh shit! And uh, he and I both have iconically fucked up voices. This, this is this is this is this is a part of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, warmer, warmer. <laughs> okay, keep <laughs> intriguing. I'm with you. Keep I'm with you. <laughs> so, so Doc and I were talking about making a record together, mm -hmm. and, and we've been texting back and forth about the idea. And I'm saying, hey man, like maybe like uh, the the theme of it could be like, yo man, we're two guys who almost died. We kind of sound like we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like, yeah, you know, one foot in the grave, the voice all the way in. Right, absolutely. <laughs> you know, go. we get it. And, uh, <laughs> and, and so I wonder, <laughs> that was I, crazy. I wonder if, uh, you know, if, if am I talking to the right guy to make some music? Yeah, what the you, fuck? You, you absolutely. Fuck with me. We, we've talked to a bunch of people. Yeah, I feel man. like this was. This is already ready to go. Yeah. What right. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so if I come up with like a, a number of different sort of concepts for records. I don't think you have to. I think I'm just going to send you a bunch of shit. All right. <laughs> and, yeah. Fuck yeah. Less like work it. for you. I feel like. Okay. This is... so, so now here's where I'm really getting interested. One because... foot in the grave is like just already a. A dope fucking god. Uh -huh. One foot in the grave. All right. Yeah, that I think that's good, huh? that's what they say. One yeah. foot, one foot in the grave. The other on a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? I've never heard that before. That's amazing. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking sweet. Yeah. Right. See, this all is right. all. This is all good song okay. content. Okay. Now, now, uh, yeah, I made a track with Be Real. Oh shit! Yeah, I made a track with Be Real. It's called If I Die Today. If I die today, uh, his fucking verse on there was so fire. I'm Good just too Lord. embarrassed of what I did on the on the song to, to do anything with it. But like, 
Uh, <laughs> well, it's gotta happen, obviously. Yeah. 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 So, so, um, yeah. Let, let, let's let's fuck with that now. From, from a business sense, mm -hmm. if uh, you know, nowadays you don't have to have uh, a record deal with a big label. <laughs> have a goddamn thing. Right. That that yeah. whole that, that whole that whole. You gotta have a phone. That, that whole catch. <laughs> yeah. right. That whole catch twenty two of like you can't blow up without a record label. Is right. Over. Right. Yeah. So if, if if we independently make a track, mm -hmm. okay, then uh, how do we collect on the publishing? How do we get the Nielsen scan? We to, get everything. We get everything. We uh, keep track of what we're doing. We, and we, we can we do fucking, that. We can do that on uh, on a Nappy Boy. Nappy Boy Entertainment, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, we have we have the the tracking. We have everything. So we we uh, we have different apps that we use. Uh, we've developed our own app. That you know we 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 keep track of literally everything. Uh, now and. What um, you know, uh, uh, the homie Sauce Walker has done. <laughs> uh, he's made uh, credit cards for his artists. So any streaming that happens for his artists, it goes the the, the proceeds go directly to the credit card that the oh. artist has. Oh, it's wow. gotten that fucking crazy. All it's right. gotten that crazy. So any artist on his label, whenever they, whenever their streams generate money, it goes directly to their credit cards that he and had personally And when you say made. credit card, you mean like a bank account? No, it's a literal physical card that they have in their wallet. Oh. Yeah. Like a prepaid credit card and there's the, the credit on it to it keep going up straight, and up. It goes straight to that card. Yeah. Wow. So it's a bank account connected to that card. And every time a stream makes money, even if it's fucking two cents, it goes straight to that fucking card and, they have and in their pocket. And that's coming off of Spotify. That's coming that's off of Tidal. Is yep. it called Tidal? Yep. 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 And, uh, and, and And presumably like uh, Apple Music. Apple Music, yep. All that shit. Pandora. Everything. There's a any lot of stream, different streaming. Any, yeah, it's a lot. What the fuck is going on these days? Right. And, and, I mean, they, wow. they, they, were, they were saying, I mean, clearly the music industry has changed more than any other industry. Yeah, for sure. But uh, but it's not like there's no music in it. It's not like there's no money in it. There's a hundred times more money now. There's a hundred times more money. Yeah. Damn. Okay. How, how, how so? Uh, because it's easy. It, it, uh, music is more accessible. When Easier you think about, you... when you think about, uh, even in, in, in the film industry. You know, it's a hundred times true. more accessible. Everybody's making money. It's it's a hundred times more money, a hundred times more accessible because you know, think about uh, uh, it, let's just say early, even early two thousands, you had to go buy CDs. Right, mm -hmm. and, and, and then you get a lot of people taking a slice out of the pie because you got the the manufacturers, yeah, you got uh, the yeah, retailers. Absolutely, now you've cut out every middleman. You at literally this point. make a song on your computer and upload the song from that same computer, and there's nobody in between that. Yeah, and now. There's so, so what do I need Nappy Boy for? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. What an that's honest, a transparent guy. That's what you need. What you need that's why he's going to use you because you're just you so need, transparent. That, 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 the only thing you would need Nappy Boy for is if you're a lazy fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm not lazy. <laughs> yeah. I, I so it's, uh, I mean, but no, I mean, it literally, it, 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 it is literally that easy. But you know, there there are tutorials out there to do these things, and you know, people come to Nappy Boy because. It literally gets a little overwhelming because there's so much to do. It's now there's there's a there's a simple way to upload your music real quick to Apple Music. I get that. But there's also 14 other joints that you didn't think about. Mm -hmm. Right. Now that's what you need Nappy Wood Entertainment it, for. And that's what we're gonna do. Like as far as we're gonna take care of every single fucking one every possible way. Now when we say this song is out now on all streaming platforms. It's all of them. It's not just the important ones that we hear about all the time. Right. It's the ones that you just found out about yesterday. This guy that just made one from his fucking room the other day. Like we 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 take care of all of that, and that's the that's the strenuous shit of it. And I even hate doing it. I even hate doing it. I hate uploading my music. I got fucking four people that does that shit for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sitting in my fucking bedroom after I make a song like, yo, upload this shit. Let me ask you this. Is uh, <clears throat> is being with, with Nappy Boy or any like music label for mm -hmm. that matter kind of like having a podcast that's with a podcast network compared to you could do a podcast on your own. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. But, Absolutely. But the podcast network might be able to plug you in with selling the sponsored ads better. It might Absolutely. be able to promote it's it the, better. The, the Nappy Boy Entertainment is resources. It's resources it's and it's resources. probably promotion. It's affiliation. Yeah. It's the you're gonna name. Get, you're gonna get, I'm gonna get more. Uh, 
uh, features. Yeah, the name is established already. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's already when you throw when you throw out T Pain as opposed to just like a guy. Right. <laughs> like, right. like, like, so Steve, we got T Pain coming. It's like, all right, cool. T Pain, right. yeah, the T Pain, we got like a guy that just he, I guess he has good conversations. Like, okay. this is like, no, I'm not doing mm-hmm. no. <laughs> so, so, do you do any music with Nappy Boy that's not like hip hop R and B? Oh, for sure. Oh, you do. Oh, we have a ton of shit that's not hip hop R and B. Okay, now, so if my man Paul Brisky has some music that he would like you to hear, is that like? uh yeah, let me hear it. Oh, I, yeah, I love money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 Paul, Paul's got some great fucking music, man. We fucking were money with, comes from everywhere. I would love to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, 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 we were hanging out with Post Malone, and Paul said, hey, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't play some you of didn't my do music. some shit. And, and Post said, let me hear it, and Post loved that shit. Beautiful. Yeah. Have you seen Pre Malone? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> is that Malone. is that him singing before he was yeah, Post Malone? Oh, it's so it's good. completely different it's, person. It's just all country. It's amazing. Uh huh. It's the wow. most amazing shit. Yeah, it's all country music. It's fucking amazing. That, that's it's, great. It's okay, really so, good. But yeah, I'll airdrop you some stuff uh, after this. I'm fuck, yeah. I, yeah, I'm fucking with that. Dope. Hey, Especially dude, if we really get is. one more lobster. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <cocktail. laughs> hey, let me let me ask you something. So so you make the bartender yep. song. W- was it to a specific bartender girl? Yeah. Did you ever go back to her and be like, I just made you the sickest song of all time? Not at all. I no. made that song at a fucking hedonism. Really? In Jamaica. And everybody was ass naked. Uh, I had to borrow the XLR cable from a fucking DJ at the at the hedonism. I, I have the I have the picture of my setup. It was just a laptop, a fucking uh Beach by Dre speaker and <coughs> shit like that and it, it was, uh, you know, I only liked the bartender because everything was free. So yeah, <laughs> it was like an all-inclusive thing. So I was just like fucking drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And uh, yeah, a, a funny thing about that song, man, uh, right after I made that song, I saw, I went out and saw a bunch of uh, 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 police tape around the, the resort. And uh, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And uh, th- th- I, I just went to the bar again and saw this guy, old white guy. He was just he was like in his fucking 70s. And uh, I, I, I was just, I offered him a drink. I was like, man, let's, let's, let's have some fun. You know, just, you know, not trolling or fucking with people. But uh, his name was Bob. Fucked around with Bob. And he was like, um, that police tape back there is because uh, my wife just died in the hotel. And um, he said, I was getting ready to, I was at the bar taking my last drink. And he was going to kill himself. He was going to kill himself. And he was like, the, the way you came up here and showed me love and just had fun with me, you and your friend. And I'd still talk to him to this day. That was like 10 Damn, years ago. Damn, no so that's way. you saying, let me buy you a drink? Yeah. That's what that <laughs> yeah, song yeah, came yeah. from? Yeah. I wow. mean, that was, but it was like, it was like a, it was like a thing. I mean, obviously, it was free, but it was just like, dude, like he, he was just looking down. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Get up, get up. Just, just, wow. Do some shit. And he was like, I was here taking my last drink and. I mean, I've, I've, been to, I've been talking. I've been talking to him ever since. Oh uh, my since. god! Wow. Yeah, man. That's it, beautiful. Yeah, it, and, it, and was, that, that, it was crazy, and that that came from Barton. That the song Barton was made during that, and then all this shit happened after. And it, yeah, so you know, Bob, I love you, brother. Right. I love you, Bob. I'll say I love you, Bob. That's a beautiful story, yeah, man. Is, that, yeah, that, man. That is a great story. So that that helped now, out, man. You said I love money. I do right? love money. I, I, I money and Bob. Money. My, Bob. Money's great. Uh, <laughs> so, so what, what other stuff do you have your hands in? I mean, is it all music? I know it's you mostly produce. it's mostly music. Obviously NFTs. You got to do that now. NFTs. Apparently. Yeah, what the fuck is Are you making money off NFTs? Can, can I ask Not how much, yet. Uh, <laughs> we did, we, we, I, I sold one and it was like one ETH. 
<laughs> what the fuck? I like just made my wallet like four days ago. Like it okay. wasn't. It was not even. I, I don't even know. You doing music on NFT or you doing art? I, I have an album that never came out. I have like a detox. You know how um, Dr. Dre has his detox album yeah, that never yeah, came out. Yeah. I have one of those. Detox. That, that, um, Isn't that like the, like the Wu, the Wu Ting album? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it's it's um it, it, it it's called uh, Stoicville, the Phoenix. So why didn't it come out? It, my label just didn't want to drop it at all. They didn't think it was good. So, but I've been showing it online for years, and my fans are like, "What the fuck? Like, why hasn't this, why hasn't this come out and shit like that?" And it's just time for it to drop. But I want to make money off of it, so that's pretty cool. So it's already out there. It's not out there. The, it's not sharing, fully you're, out there. You're sharing it's like out there in stream quality. Like it's, right. there, it's no full quality mm -hmm. version right. of it so far. So I think so, they so have to make some there. money off of that. Yeah. But yeah. What about like physical merch? Physical merch. Um, it's that's weird to me. Merch is weird to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So I mean, fake, fake jewelry, dude. Those are fly. Yeah, oh, merch damn, is fake. like. How much it's it's like wearing somebody else's clothes? Right, yeah. <laughs> what about wearing somebody else's fake jewelry? Yeah, okay, that's that's kind of cool for a night. <laughs> for a night, one of my friends come to my house and like, bro, I need a chain real quick. Boom, here you go. It's that fast. I mean, it's that fast. It doesn't doesn't quick. take anything else. I need to impress a bitch. Boom, there you go. <laughs> you know, uh, and, yeah, I, I, and I, I like to ask, you know, almost all of our podcast guests, mm -hmm. like like what their different revenue streams are, like where they're getting their money. Yeah, you know, and, and we essentially just try to download information for us to sharpen our game. Mine and, is and mostly video games. I'm not going to lie to you. Wait, you're making like money off I'm making games. more money off of video games than and I've made in the last the four years. What? No, just playing them. Wait, Twitch, you're making streaming. money playing video playing games? Playing video games, absolutely. So, so that's like playing them on Twitch? Yeah. So from your Twitch stream, mm -hmm. you're getting more revenue than from music? Yeah. What fuck? the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? How it, is that possible? I don't know. It's it just. <laughs> I mean, I've, it because it's because it's authentic. Because, because it's organic. Are you good at video games? Oh no, I'm trash. Fuck you. And I think that what that's what makes it better. I mean, there there are definitely good uh, good players out there that make a ton of money. But I think the entertainment that comes from somebody like me being trash at it. Mm -hmm. I think that's just more valuable. Now I, and, uh, and it's more entertaining. I set up a Twitch and yeah. I'm like, I don't get it, you know? <laughs> you know what you know uh, what you it's like? like you games. know what it's like? It's like watching football. Okay. Because I, everybody's like, Well, you just watching people play video games? I'm like, you just watching people play football? <laughs> like, right. You're not you're not on the field. Like, right. <laughs> like what are you you're yeah. watching uh, you're watching football players. Play football. You're not playing it. So, so where, does the money, where does the money come from? Is it the other users? People that literally they, pay you. They pay to you to watch. like shout them out. Like uh, you don't even have to. You don't even have to. They're just giving. Yeah, you how a, are you gonna concentrate like on the that, game if you're like, thanks, Andrew? You thanks, do Jay. that. You do that while you're playing. But uh, there's these things called uh, off-stream subs, and people literally pay five dollars a month to just get notified when you. When you go, um, uh, yeah. When you go live, what a uh, on YouTube, you're begging everybody to ring the bell. And they're, they're, <laughs> and you're they're, 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 paying, they're paying five bucks a month to ring the bell. Yeah. What, what game do you play? Just all of them. Just anything that comes out. Let me see what this is like. It's kind of like PS5. It's kind of like live reviews. No, I'm all PC. So you getting any more Bugattis? <laughs> I'm not. I'm never gonna get a Bugatti ever again in my life. Um, how, how often are you getting on the Twitch stream? Every day? No. No. Like. Twice a month. Oh my god! No, <laughs> play the, like a UFC fighting game and get on Twitch and like. Yeah, you I gotta know. get on it, man. Uh, if you got that many followers, what if we like collab on something? Absolutely. We, we oh no! I get, oh yeah, I, I do it all the time. All right. I collab all the time, and all people right. like make Twitch streams like the night that we collab, and they get pretty much half of my fucking followers. It's okay. Crazy. I, I, I love yeah. it. So, so, tw so there's a revenue stream that's not music. Yeah, that's playing fucking for video sure. games for big ass money. It's, it's, 
Anything else to slip to your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, I make two million a month. Nah, man. I mean, I, you know, I, I, obviously, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the, the same shit as everybody, man. Cryptocurrency, fucking okay. cannabis shit. It's just all... It's, so, so you're in the cannabis business? No. I want to get in it, but I, I, I haven't found anything that's genuine enough. It's, it's not something that I actually fuck with enough to where I can say, hey guys, I actually like this. Anything out, anything you've seen me come out with, like, you know, any liquor or, or, or cannabis or anything like that, I have to really like it first. All right. I have to actually like it so it won't be a such thing as, you know, the company like, well, we're giving you money so you gotta do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's actually like me coming out like, guys, I actually like this shit. So, get it because I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would, he, if you I would like drink it for free. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not drinking it for free. It's, it's fucking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. I gotta like it. I would have <laughs> drank it if they wouldn't have said anything. Uh, <laughs> right. like, but, for example, I wouldn't have taken this product called Blue Chews. Blue, blue chew, blue, sorry, blue chew tablets. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have tried what it. What is that? It's now? like a it fucking. Get, it's, it, it gets it, your fuck game up. It's uh, it's it's got the same ingredient as Viagra and Cialis. Oh my god! But it's chewable and it Tastes costs great. a fraction of the price. Right now, I would never have thought to try that. And you know, really? but, they, but they were like, "Hey man, you want to try it?" I was like, "Fuck, dick pill. All right, I'll try it." <laughs> dick pill, yeah, I'm, sure, why not? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, babe, check out my boner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you, you, know, you noticed the difference? Yeah, I'm fucked. I swear I did. So I'm right like, hey, you know what? I'm in. Let, let, You're right. Let, let's sell If Erection lasts shoes. for more than four hours, call more later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck with it. That's cool. That's and, 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 sweet. And, and, yeah, it's got to be something that you fuck with, man. It, it's got to be organic. And people can, people can sense that shit. People can really see. The consumers can actually see if it's like... Hey, I, try, right. try yeah, this thing, I think. For sure. Right. You people know are so savvy for authenticity. Absolutely. Right people are, so people learn that shit because, they, because it's the age of the influencer. Yeah. So now literally anybody can just promote anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's everybody has their, everybody has a fucking Instagram account. Everybody has their shit. Everybody has a way of, you know, putting products out there. And what's going to make your shit different. What's gonna make yours more authentic? It's because you actually fucking like it and you're not yeah. doing it for the money. And if you stop liking the shit and if the company does some crazy shit, you can let it go. Mm -hmm. for it's sure. not they don't they don't have you held for, you know, like we're gonna stop paying you if you don't like okay. That's fine. Sure. <laughs> That's all. It's, you know what I'm saying? You your life doesn't depend on it, you're all good. You don't have to fucking depend on that shit, so it's just better when it's more authentic. It's you know? kind of cool. I think about your music career a little bit similarly because you sort of stuck to like, no, this is what I do. And a lot of people right. were like, yo, man, maybe that's not the coolest thing to do. You're like, yeah. I like this. This is just what naturally comes out of me. So I'm going to keep doing it. And Absolutely. then it got to point that's all people wanted from you was just BT pain. And like, and you were able to just be successful just by doing you. Absolutely. And, and that, like, that helps uh, out you a held lot, out, man. you know? That helps out a lot, dude. It, I mean, it, it, it frees you from a lot of <laughs> shit. It, it it makes uh it makes you immune to, you know, cutting people off. It makes you immune to fucking companies not fucking with you. It makes you immune to fucking getting canceled. Like it it's just like I didn't fuck with that shit in the first place. All right, go cool. hmm? get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah, cool. It makes you immune to that. It makes you immune to people. It makes you immune to fake people. It makes you immune to fake motherfuckers that come in your circle and they just try to you know, be around you because you have certain things, like, it, it makes you immune to that. When you're authentic and when you actually fuck with something, <clears throat> it, yeah. it, it gets you out of that space to yep. be fucked with. Hell yeah. All right, dude, I just followed you on Instagram, man. There we that, go. God damn it. Jesus. There we go. T-Pain. That's all it is, just T-Pain on Instagram. It's, it's so fast. Let, let, <laughs> it's not, let, it's let, not, it's not complicated at all. It's not right. official T-Pain. <laughs> T-Pain, it's you not the it. real T-Pain. <laughs> what else can we promote for you? Well, wait, we got to get this top five. Yeah, I, I want to uh, hear the top, top five. Top, I'm dying to know. The top five, the top five. Um, it's the normal top five. It's the fucking J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Jack. I don't know that that's the normal top five. This is very normal. It's, the, it's always the top tier. Anybody else? Uh, well. Is this in order or not in order? It's not in order. 
Uh, this is the new school top five. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, this is all time? Or just right now? No, no, yeah, all, all mm, time. Let's all, go all, time, time. all time. Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 Quincy Jones. Oh, no, but oh, we're talking about rappers. Producers. All, all you said, hip hop and R and B. Ah, uh, okay. Nah, R&B. let's go rappers. Okay, rappers. Yeah, it's a scarier thing to, to answer. Rappers, Kendrick <laughs> Lamar, um, corrupt. Mm. Um, corrupt young Gotti. J Cole. Drake. Wow. Um. Yeah, one more. Uh, 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 Tech Nine. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your, um, you did your intro. It's it's like on your YouTube channel. Like T Paint kills his intro for his channel. That. Yeah. Oh my god. That's yeah. amazing. The that last like, one I did. The last because I have three different intros. The last one I did was inspired all by Tech Nine. Like that was my Tech Nine intro. Killing. That was like my homage to Tech Nine. Uh-huh. What was the tune or the record? The track where you said they call me a murderer. They call me a murderer. I just, I literally just heard this. Fuck, somebody just posted this. Okay, so it doesn't matter what uh, the track is, but why do they call you a murderer? Because <laughs> because I was killing everybody on their own songs. Oh, yeah. killing everybody on their own songs. I yeah. like that. Anytime, anytime you get T-Pain on your song, you just... Just, that's that's like when you're a comedian. Song now. It's T-Pain song. It's, a T-Pain song. <laughs> that's, it's like when you're a comedian, you bring a, a comic on the road to open for you, and, and that kill. guy's funnier than you. And they kill. Yeah, that's a yeah. murder. That is a murder. Yeah, but are they, <laughs> yeah. But are you? Are they like uh, this guy's never coming on my album again? Or Absolutely. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think you want that. Getting, uh, yeah, I just want it all the time. <laughs> it's, I'm it's, getting it's, the time from. It's Gary. an affirmation. For the live stream? <laughs> no, from Gary. Uh, oh, we're getting the time from Gary. Okay, no, what are we... You guys got to go. We're getting the watch tap? Well, yeah. Did what, we get the uh, watch tap? The, the watch tap. <laughs> what, 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 what can we promote we get for you? This is everything. Uh, T-Pain, Instagram. T-Pain on Instagram, T-Pain on Twitter. Uh, check out my OnlyFans. I'm just, just me jacking off all the time. <laughs> 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 I got everything. Uh, T-Pain on Craigslist. I'm trying to sell a couch. Um, <laughs> Nappy Twitch. Boy. Twitch, 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 Twitch. Twitch. Oh, Twitch. Twitch. Oh, Twitch. 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 For sure. Right, what we do, I'm looking forward to that, dude. T-Pain's Nappy Boy Radio coming very soon. Well, let's hopefully that lobster's out Send there. Send that lobster. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love the fucking setup in here, man. How about that, dude? Come on, man. Making music with T-Pain, dude. I mean, we're going to do it, I think. Plus, this guy. I mean, he makes music, man. How do people get their music? Oh, it's that kid is you on Spotify, Instagram, and uh, elsewhere, everywhere. Yeah, and the shit kicks ass. So fucking check it out and let Paul Brisky know that you did. Yeah. <laughs>